Hey guys, it's Artsy Girls here. Hope you enjoy. Today we're making duct tape belts. What you're going to need is duct tape of your choice, a used belt, scissors, an exacto knife, and a toothpick. And the glue and the gems are optional. So start by cutting your tag off your belt, if it has one. And depending on the length of your belt, you'll need at least two to four pieces of 11 inches of tape. <coughs> if your belt is skinny, you can cut these pieces in half. So I'm going to be using mustache tape because these belts aren't, the belt that I have right here isn't a really pretty belt that I really like. So instead I'm going to cover it in mustaches. Yay! So there are two ways to cut this. Either cut it the way that I'm doing now, or you can turn it um, the opposite way and cut the long piece in half. So you can either do it like I'm doing here, or you can do it the way that I'm about to do it. You can take it like this and use your exacto knife but I was just trying to use the scissor blade because these scissors aren't the best so you can cut it in half like I'm doing here And finally, I found a knife that will help me cut it. Much easier. So, again, you can cut it in half, like I did here. And you can just take one of those pieces, and depending if your belt is skinny or thick, you can just put it on the way that I'm putting it on right here. So there's a difference between the two ways that I showed you how to do it. So try and make your belt equal when you cut it so that there aren't any gaps. And you, if you put it this way, it won't cover the back, but it doesn't need to cover the back because it will save duct tape and no one will see the back. So I had a little extra space on the belt left, so I decided just to cut some more mustache duct tape. And with this duct tape, you can buy it at, um, at Target. So just cut that piece in half. And then just lay it out. So don't forget to put the edges behind the belt if you can stick them behind there. So it looks professional and manufactured. So then you can either poke the holes out with a toothpick or a very thin blade. I'm doing it with a toothpick because it's much more easier. So you can put gems down if you want to, but for this belt, I just wanted to keep it um, natural looking. 
So if you do apply liquid stitch, you can wait about two to five minutes for it to dry completely and it won't come off. So if your belt was cloth or leather before, made out of cloth or leather, um, now it's waterproof. Well, on one side it is. So make sure that you get those holes poked really well so your, um, so your belt can come together. So I was trying to cut it, but fail. And I found the exacto knife! Yay! So just put it on the ending piece. Don't forget to cut it off, just to make it look um, much better. So now you have your mustache belt! Well, you're almost done, you just have to cover the remaining pink part of it. So, you can just take a piece of duct tape, cut it, you might want to cut an you might want to cut it into half or in a third and cover the part that keeps your belt down like I'm doing here right now and for the rest the part under that thing you're going to put a duct tape under that too to make it to cover up the rest of the heart like I'm doing here right now So it's much more easier if your piece is thinner and longer because then it'll fit through it much easier. And you want to put it around the metal part too. But putting it around the thing that goes through the holes is optional because it might make it a little harder to put it through. So now you have your belt. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!